Hi everyone, my name is Caroline and in this video I'm going to show you how to play your music on your Amazon Echo devices. Now as a reminder, please do mute your devices as I will be saying the wake word Alexa frequently during this video. Now what I'm going to use in this video is a Raspberry Pi computer and you can actually do this whole project on a Windows or a Mac machine either. Let me show you how it works. Alexa, launch My Media. Playing songs from your My Media collection. So let me back up here for a second of how and why I decided to do this. The other day, I was updating my playlist on my phone that I, you know, that I listen to while I go running or walking or just, you know, when I'm on public transportation. And I hadn't updated it in a while. And I bought some new songs and, I, you know, and it was great and everything. And my usual process is to buy the music, download the MP3, and then upload it to Amazon Music. Unfortunately, I got to Amazon Music and it said, no more uploads. Yikes! I was not aware, and I apologize to my viewers out here, I was unaware that Amazon had discontinued their music storage service. So in so last year, or you know, in years past, Amazon allows a user to upload up to 250 songs at no charge, and then you can play it on your Echo devices. And I had uploaded a few songs, and that's how I listen to music on my uh, Alexa devices. Now, uh, I can no longer upload songs, and, it's, and as of the end of this year, I think they're going to delete all of my songs. They're encouraging everybody to download all their songs now, and then you will no longer be able to play the songs that you uploaded to Amazon Music. Uh, I think this is a ploy to sell more music through Amazon Music because if you bought your song through Amazon Music, you're completely unaffected. You can buy songs on Amazon Music and you can play them all you want. Uh, unfortunately, I usually buy my music uh, through other uh, providers, uh, so I was a little bit surprised. But so I had to find a workaround. I had to find another way. I had just, you know, bought a bunch of new songs. I had to find a way to play them on my Alexa devices. Uh, and there are several different ways to do this. This week, I'm going to go over something called My Media. Next week, I'm going to go over Plex. My Media was a little bit easier to install and it works across Raspberry Pi and Mac and Windows. Uh, so I'm recommending that as kind of the easiest option. Uh, there is a charge, it's a $5 per year charge according to their website. Now, okay, in full disclosure, am I gonna pay the $5? No, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, Plex, which was a little bit harder to set up, a little bit harder to do, but Plex has, a, has no annual fee to play music on the Echo devices. Thus, I'm just doing the seven day trial with my media and, and just to show you how it's done. Now, I'm also, I'm using my Raspberry Pi here and you can do this on a Windows or a Mac machine. Why have I decided to use my Raspberry Pi? One, I have a Raspberry Pi. Two, your computer has to be on for, for you to access your music on the Echo devices. What does that mean? Um, it's you're essentially turning your computer into a music server and it's serving up your music on your Alexa device uh, while it is on. So when it's off, you're not going to be able to access anything. Uh, it is run through a, an Amazon Alexa skill and you do have to enable that skill. But I'll go through all of that in that video. Uh, so that's why I decided to go with the Raspberry Pi because it's small and I can plug it into a corner somewhere in my home and just leave it on all the time. Uh, anyway, so this was, to me, this was the easiest uh, way to do it. Uh, but if you don't have one, don't worry about it. Just follow the instructions for a Mac or a PC if you have one at home. Now with my media or with Plex, it doesn't support multi-room music. So you can't say, hey, play you know, my song everywhere and have all of your, uh, if you have you know, more than one of these Alexa devices, have it play in every single room. Uh, it just, it's a skill, um, an Alexa skill, and it only plays on that one device. So that's a little disclaimer. Uh, anyway, so let's get started with my media this week. And uh, if you wanna do Plex, uh, check back next week and I'll post a video on Plex. The materials you'll need for this project are, I'll be using a Pi 3B, or you can use a B+. You'll need a micro SD card 
for your project. I'm going to use a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. I do recommend a larger micro SD card because I do recommend saving all of your music files onto this micro SD card. I'll show you how to do that in this video here. You'll also need a keyboard, a mouse. I'm going to use one that's uh, that's USB. You'll need a USB. You'll need your monitor and it will need to have an HDMI input here. You'll also need a power supply, a properly rated uh, 5 volt 2.5 amp power supply to power your Pi at all times. Now in my video I'm going to use my laptop. I'm going to show you how to get your music out of iTunes on your laptop and save it to this flash drive here. I do recommend having a large flash drive you can save all of your music to and then in the video I'll show you how to save it from the flash drive to your Raspberry Pi as well and those are the materials you'll need for this project. I'll start by inserting my flash drive into my computer it should pop right up there it is then I'll open iTunes. In the previous scene I showed you where I inserted my flash drive into my computer. Now I am in iTunes and I am on a Macintosh computer. Hopefully this will work about the same if you have a Windows machine. So my understanding, and I'm totally not an expert in this, is first you go into iTunes and you hit File, Library, and then you click on Organize Library and then you want to check the consolidate files section and then that puts all of your files into nice little folders. Not 100% sure about this. Mine were already consolidated, so I did not actually do this step in real life. Uh, but to my understanding, this is how you get everything organized properly. I'm gonna cancel out of that because my files are already organized. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just find a song. Really, any song will do. And this is under my library. So make sure you are clicked on this library and you can see the songs that you have purchased. And I'm gonna just click on a song that I quote unquote own. Now this is all YouTube royalty free music that, that I downloaded from YouTube just for illustrative purposes. Uh, so the artist is Silent Partner and the album is YouTube Audio Library. That is just the music that I have on this computer here as I'm you know cutting videos and I'm gonna select a song and I'm gonna hit these three dots over here and then I'm gonna click on show in finder and that takes me to the file manager of my Mac machine uh, also known as finder and this shows me where all of my mp3s are stored on my computer so uh, so it's under iTunes, iTunes music, Media, Music, and then all of my music is right here, organized by artist. And what what you would do, um, assuming that your flash drive is big enough, is you would select all of your artist folders and you would copy it onto your flash drive like this. Now that all of my music has been saved to my flash drive. I'll just need to eject my flash drive right here. Next, I'm ready to install the Raspbian image onto my micro SD card that's going to be sort of like a hard drive for my Raspberry Pi. And my computer has a nice little slot for an SD card. This is a micro SD card. So I'll just put my micro SD card in the SD card and then I will put my SD card into my computer. First, we will download the Raspbian operating system, and I'm going to raspberrypi.org, and I'll link to this below down in the description. I'm gonna hit Downloads here, and I'm going to go to Raspbian here, and then I'm going to select Raspbian Stretch with Desktop, Download Zip, and it automatically starts downloading. Now, this is a very large file, and depending on your home speed of your network, it might take a while. I'm going to exit out of that because I've already finished that download. Next, I'll open etcher.io right here, and I'm going to select my image. So I'm going to downloads. It's the last thing I downloaded here, and it's right here. I'm gonna hit open, then it already knows the SD card I want to use. I want to use this 32 gigabyte SD card and then I'll hit flash and that will put the Raspbian system after I type in my password onto my 
micro SD card. Now that Etcher is done flashing my micro SD card, it automatically ejects and I just need to remove my micro SD card. We're now ready to power up our Pi here. We'll take the SD card I just burned in the last scene here, flip the Pi over, and then insert this micro SD card into our Raspberry Pi just like that. And then let's plug in the mouse and keyboard right here. We also need to connect our HDMI cable right here. And then we will power it up right now. Later on, I will be ready to uh, copy the files from my flash drive onto my Raspberry Pi and I can just insert my flash drive right here. And that's all you need. The new Raspbian system will walk you through setting up your language and the country that you're in, installing updates, and setting up your Wi-Fi. At minimum, in order to continue this tutorial, you will need to have your system connected to your home internet. And here we are. This is the desktop of my Raspberry Pi 3. And I am going to get this started by uh, launching the web browser. And this is the first time I'm opening the browser here. And we are going to go to mymediaalexa.com. And we are at the mymediaalexa.com website. I am going to, well, I'll show you a few things on here. This is for Amazon Alexa, and uh, there, are, there are different downloads here. And we're gonna go for the Raspberry Pi download. I'm gonna hit download right here. And according to the website, the pricing is right here. It's free for the first seven days. And then it's $5 for the entire year. And then you can get some advanced uh, stuff here for $10 a year, $15 a year. Excellent. Uh, let's see. So I've downloaded the file and I'm going to say, do I want to keep the file? Yes, I do. This is just a default security setting of the Raspberry Pi 3. And I'm keeping the file. I'm going to click on the file here and it's opening it up. And you know, if you don't see this on the bottom, then uh, yes, I do want to install file here. So if you don't see this, you know, you can go to um, Home Pi Downloads and it is right here. So this is this is the file I'm running here and I need to um, authenticate. So this is the password that you set up for the Raspberry Pi and the, the default is Raspberry. I've already changed mine to something else. So I'll enter that password. And we're done with step one. I have just inserted a flash drive that contains the music that I want to put on my My Media for Alexa server. And uh, and it recognizes that. This is the desktop of my Pi. I'm going to open in File Manager, set, say OK. And here's my music. And then I'm going to open another folder here, another file manager here. It's going to go straight to the home Pi directory and I am going to double click on music. Now this is a default of a fresh install of the Raspbian system on my Raspberry Pi and there's nothing in it as you can see. So I'm going to choose some music to save onto my micro SD card that runs my Raspberry Pi. Now you will need a micro SD card that is big enough to hold the music that you want in order to do it this way. I believe there are other ways we can mount an, an external drive. I'm not going to do that just because that's just more cumbersome to make sure that I have my Raspberry Pi on and I also have this external drive attached. So I'm just going to copy some music for the purposes of this demonstration from my flash drive on the right side here to my music folder on the left side here. Now how did I get my music into this uh, format here. I went into iTunes and I saved all of my music down from iTunes in mp3 format uh, and I think you have to organize it. I think there are other videos on how to organize your iTunes but this is just saved directly from iTunes so it gives me the name of the artist, uh, the album name, and then the music right here. And it has uh, copied all of my files from my flash drive to my micro SD card which is running my Raspberry Pi right here and there it is. So now I can eject my flash drive and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we have installed our 
my media for Alexa right here. I'm going to open up a new window and the instructions say to go to localhost colon 52051 index and let's see what happens. All right, here we are. Congratulations. I've successfully installed my media for Alexa. I'm going to say I've understood the privacy policy. Hit next. And then I need to sign into my Amazon account. And I'm going to say keep me signed in. Don't forget, I need to install it on my companion app. I hit OK. Now I need to select which media folders can be played. Uh, no, I don't want to download some sample media. Watch folder. Okay, I need to hit a watch. I need to add a watch folder here. Add folder. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go to home, Pi. saved it to music, and hit OK. See if it could scan for my music. And it's scanning right now. And now it says it's serving. I'm going to hit songs. And sure enough, my music is right here. Now we're going to alexa.amazon.com. And we're going to make sure we sign into my to alexa.amazon.com. And I'm going to skills. I'm going to search for my media. And I believe this is it. I'm going to enable. And from here, we need to hit settings. And then we need to hit link account and we need to hit allow to sign into my media for Alexa so we'll do that now and we've been successfully linked yay now that we have the my media server set up we'll eject our flash drive and then we can remove our flash drive we no longer need our mouse and keyboard so we can remove that and we'll no longer need our HDMI display here and from now on we can just run our media server with just a power cable and our Raspberry Pi. And we're back. Now let's test out our new My Media server here and see if it plays on my Alexa device. Alexa, ask My Media to play Silent Partner. Playing music by Silent Partner from your My Media collection. Alexa, next song. Alexa, stop. And it works. Uh, so I'm streaming music from here, my Raspberry Pi 3, uh, to my Amazon Echo device. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you want to do this again next week on Plex, I'll show you how. Subscribe and tune in again next week for the same tutorial but on Plex. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.